Hey, what is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom, and today I'm very, very excited because we are finally going to be opening up some Shining Fates product. I actually haven't opened much of this product at all yet. We got a lot of our allocation in over the weekend. Things were really delayed. I talked about this quite a bit recently on the channel uh, with all the storms going and just delays in general. It took a long time for these products to even get in and we are just not opening that much of this set so that way we can try and fulfill as many pre-orders as we can and then put as much product back out into the market as we possibly can. Typically with a new set, we like to open up anywhere between 1,500 and 2,000 packs just so we can stock the website with singles. Uh, this set, we've opened opened like 40 packs so far and then we're going to open up these and not much more so uh we are going to go ahead and just kind of get into things right away i'm going to be opening up all four of these mad party pin collections i do really like pin collections the mewtwo and mew pin collections from hidden fates were my favorites just because those didn't get reprinted uh, i thought those were super unique unique thing with same with uh champion's path which just came out the pin collections in there uh those badge collections they called them i think those uh, those didn't get reprinted either. So uh, a lot of these pin collections like you see here are, are typically unique products that kind of stay or stay stay around in the market for not as long of a time because they don't get reprinted as easily, probably just because of the packaging and things like that. There's just so much that go into it. But I am very excited to kind of break into this today. Uh, we've got a Dedenne, a Bunnelby, a Poltergeist, and a Galarian Mr. R Rhyme with an Upside Down Shining Face Pack. Uh, so we're probably going to save that one for the end. I think I'm going to start with... Uh, we're going to start with Bunnelby, uh, but hopefully uh, we can get something good out of these. I know I have seen a lot of really good hits so far uh, when I've been watching either YouTube videos or just looking on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and things like that. I've seen a lot of really good hits so far, especially from the Elite Trainer Boxes. And the Elite Trainer Boxes have come down a little bit in price, which is pretty cool. Still very, very expensive, but it's nice to see that they've come down to about $110 a piece rather than the $150 that they were selling for on opening uh, opening weekend. Uh, also, that Charizard has come down a little bit, and then most of the singles have come down quite a bit. The second most expensive card, I think, in the set right now is Suicune, uh, the shiny Suicune, which is really cool. Look at that nice Bunnelby pin. Uh, and the they are called Mad Party because of the attack here, so Mad Party for a double colorless energy. This attack does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile that has... The Mad Party attack. So if you've played competitively or even if you've watched competitive play before, this reminds everybody a lot of the Night March attack uh, that was so popular for a very long time in the format. Night March was an extremely popular deck and is still somewhat popular in Expanded. If Expanded was a format that was going on right now, uh, it would probably be played quite a bit. Uh, but for a double colorless energy, your main goal is just to kind of stockpile your discard pile with as many different Mad Party Pokemon as you can and then hit for some decent numbers right away. Uh, we're going to give away all the code cards that we can here, just so hopefully you guys can get something good. The packaging is a lot different. I've noticed that with a lot of the products here, which is pretty cool. The ETB sleeves are a lot different. Uh, I don't know what to think of them yet because they're kind of difficult just to get stuff in. And I am not going to slow roll anything. We're just going to go through it because I'm sure you have seen a lot of openings already. We'll obviously stop at the hits. Uh, but the great thing about these is that you get the uh, the shiny vault collection as you reverse and then you might still get another ultra rare in your rare spot. Uh, the difference in this set also is that you uh, will all get white coats for every single every single pack will have a white code. Um, but you aren't necessarily guaranteed a hollow. So that's pretty cool. I do like that because that means I mean when you when you open up a pack and you look and you just see that green code uh, you get kind of disappointed right away, and you're like, oh, is there really much of a point to going through it? But since all of these are going to be white codes, yes, you might as well go through them all. We're starting out with an Indeedy V, which is pretty cool. Gym Trader Reverse Hollow, not bad, and an Eldegos. And there is your code. Uh, I do have some handy-dandy sleeves here. Uh, it does seem that pull rates in this set are pretty good. From what I've seen, as far as people opening a lot of the Elite Trainer boxes or a lot of packs, it seems like there's a lot of hits that are going on out there, which is really good. You might get four or five hits in an Elite Trainer box. Uh, I do want to see how the Mad Party collection boxes open up, like what we're doing right now. Uh, but we are only one for three, and that one is just an Indeedy V, which isn't the best card that you want to pull out of the set, unfortunately. So that's okay. We'll see. I'm putting these in just random piles all over the place. Let's fix that. All right, next up, we're going to open up to Dene. Dedenne is a really cool, cute little Pokemon. Cute little mouse. Let's get rid of the packaging. And then we'll give away this Dedenne code. And hopefully, in this pack we'll pull something, or in this box we'll pull something good. I've seen um, that the Charizards are actually 
like from what I've seen so far, like one in every 270 packs, 270, 300 packs, which does mean that I do think that the Charizard will come down in price quite a bit. Maybe you'll see it around $300 and stabilize there for a while. Coughing Reverse Hollow, nothing good here. Let me know if you have opened up any of these um, Shining Fates products so far and what you've had so far as your pull rates go. I know that it's usually you wouldn't expect products to differ as far as pull rates go between an ETB and a tin and a pin collection, uh, but we're not doing too well on these Mad Party boxes, unfortunately. I haven't seen a whole lot of these opened up. I've been focusing mainly on the tins and the uh, Elite Trainer boxes, and like I said, the Hits seem to be pretty good in those, but not so lucky in these Mad Party Collection boxes so far. Wow, we just struck out completely in this box. We are oh, one for six, unfortunately, which is not the way that you want to start. All right, we're going with Poltergeist now. We're saving the Upside Down pack for last, just because that's where the Charizard has to be. It's got to be in there, right? Charizard is obviously the card that, is, uh, that most people are chasing in this set. I personally... And very much going after a Suicune Shiny, just because it looks so darn cool. Uh, but I would be okay with like a Ditto VMAX, a Shiny Ditto VMAX. All the Shinies are just a lot of fun to open. That's kind of the big deal. That's why this set is so popular. Uh, it really, really attracts different collectors and casual people. Uh, even, uh, even players alike all really enjoyed Hidden Fates because of the uniqueness as far as the Shiny cards go. Ooh, we are not creating good content right now by just pulling absolutely terribly. It is nice to be opening up some Shining Fates, but you do want to get some hits. Hey, there we go. We got a Shiny Pincurchin, uh, and then nothing else after that, but at least it's a Shiny. So that's our first Shiny so far out of, what have we done, eight packs? Pincurchin's a cool Pokemon, all those spikes. Have we opened up eight packs? Yeah, eight packs. We've gotten one shiny and one ultra rare in DDV. Nothing fantastic. We're opening up this Charizard art and hopefully we'll get something good in this one. Hey, we got another shiny. This time it's a flapple. Which is pretty cool. Flapple's nice. We are really, really close to Pokemon Day. Also, I'm recording this and it's about three days away. It's crazy. I haven't seen any really, really exciting news announcements yet. I'm hoping that there'll be some uh, really, really big stuff that comes out over the next few days as Pokemon Day draws closer. Definitely stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned to Poke Beach and Serebi and all those Poke Guardian, all those websites where you get all of your Pokemon news. There's going to be something go coming down. I can just, I can feel it. You know, Pokemon's 25th anniversary. They're going to make sure that Pokemon Day is a special day. So, all right, we are on to our last Mad Party box already. And we are, uh, we have three hits now, which isn't too bad. Basically averaging one hit per box. Uh, unfortunately, no shiny Vs or Vmaxes yet, just some baby shinies. We're saving that upside down pack for the end in hopes that that turns into something special like this Rillaboom V. Hey, nice, our first one. And a code card. Um, that's very exciting. Real Boom V. Very, very cool looking card. Uh, this has actually dipped down quite a bit in price. It's one of the cheaper Shiny V, Shiny Volt, uh, Shiny V cards. So if you look at completing a Master Set and you've only opened up some, be patient. There's going to be more product coming, which is really exciting. Uh, we have a, the next release is already on March 5th. Reverse Hollow Volcanion and a Dreadnought. March 5th is when those mini tins come out and the... Uh, what is it? The Crobat and Dragapult V collection boxes. Those look pretty cool. And then Battle Styles is right around the corner after that. We have not seen allocation numbers yet for Battle Styles. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about that, but unfortunately, nothing yet. Oh, a Rowlet Reverse Hollow. All that excitement for an upside down pack, and it brought us absolutely nothing. Here's a code card. We didn't get a whole lot of great stuff, but we did get three shinies out of the four boxes that we opened Rillaboom V. Flapple, Pincurchin, and DDV. Ultimately, what this tells me is that <laughs> when you open up uh, packs or boxes, what you're looking for when it comes to Shining Fates, really whatever you can find as close to MSRP as possible because obviously the prices are still inflated right now. So Elite Trainer boxes, while they're a lot of fun, 
maybe wait a little bit on those and hopefully they'll reprint them like crazy and we'll get a, quite a few more of them that come out. I know that the wave schedule for them meant that we were going to get the majority of them up front with our first wave and then you would get smaller allocations for the second, third, and fourth waves. But hopefully Pokemon will just keep printing stuff like crazy and there'll be more that come available on the market if you haven't gotten anything yet. This is what we pulled tonight, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments section down below how your pulls have been, what you've had the most luck in. I've seen some people say it's Elite Trainer boxes. I've actually seen some people say it's Pikachu V boxes. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you've gotten. Really, really appreciate all the support. If you're new here, if you've been here before, please hit that subscribe button down below. Leave the channel a thumbs up. Really, really thank you guys a lot. It means a lot to me. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.